Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video today on a little bit of a conference talk from this October 2021 general conference. And it was just something that really grabbed my attention. I love it when scriptural words or phrases are defined. And here we have Elder Bednar defining a scriptural phrase, yoked with Christ. The Savior said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We take the Savior's yoke upon us as we learn about, worthily receive, and honor sacred covenants and ordinances. We are bound securely to and with the Savior as we faithfully remember and do our best to live in accordance with those with the obligations we have accepted and that bond with him is the source of spiritual strength in every season of our lives i think that is an amazing definition and something that i just couldn't pass up sharing on this channel that if we ponder that, that as we learn about worthily receive and honor sacred covenants and ordinances, we are bound securely to our Savior. And because we are yoked with him, we can draw from his power. Because if you're yoked with Christ, nothing's stopping you from getting where you need to go. There was also a footnote for this phrase or amongst the text of the quote I just read, which brings us to 1 Nephi 14.14. 14. President Nelson has mentioned this verse and said that this is the day in which we live. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld the power of the Lamb of God that it descended upon the saints of the church of the Lamb and upon the covenant people of the Lord who were scattered upon all the face of the earth and they were armed with righteousness and with power of God in great glory. So it's the covenant people of the Lord, those who have made covenants who will be armed with righteousness and who will receive this great power of God. Think about that. Think about how precious your covenants are. Learn of them. Thank God for them. And do your best to keep them. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.